G'day and welcome back to the garage. Today we're going back to 2015 that I entered the day a spike of build off. There's my entrance shirt. It didn't last very long. It's now shed up and I think it's very cool. So back then I didn't video anything pretty much, but I did document it with a lot of photos. So let's have a look at some photos. I'll narrate over the top with a little bit of music. I hope it keeps you entertained. And um, yeah, just something I did that I thought was pretty cool and I thought I'd share. So the idea was to build a posty bike that didn't look like a posty bike. And um, let's have a look at what I made. So I bought the bike as a basket case, chucked it in the back of my Pontiac. It was actually a entrant in the 2010 bike I built off, and I bought it off a mate. When I got it home, I uh, chucked the wheels on it and uh, started to nut out the um, reinforcing for the fuel tank. The fuel tank I used was from a Honda CB125, which I had laying around, and once I took all the paint off, I uh, dummied it up. Started to muck around with the assembly, working out what sort of handlebars, and eventually I put a set of clip-ons on it. But yeah, it definitely started to take shape and get away from that posty look. I made some aluminium side covers for it and then painted the uh, battery cover and stuff to make it look like it was brushed alloy. Once I did that, I stripped it down and painted the frame black. And it kind of looks like something out of Star Wars, especially in the next shot. But yeah, started to put it together and come up all right. Number five. Well, I was mucking around the exhaust system. I uh, wasn't really happy with that. That was off a, like a monkey bike, not a monkey bike, a pit bike. Um, but the look was getting there. I ended up getting a um, system from eBay, a trumpet system. So I called it going postal and that's what that was supposed to say, but I put it up on Facebook and a mate of mine that lives in Japan, he said to me, Paul, it doesn't say going postal, it says going to the post office or something. So I changed it to Honda. So the writing on it was Honda. Started to drill holes in all the little bits and pieces to trick it up a little bit. Polished all the alloy. Just try to make it as tidy as I can. And just little bits and pieces for finer detail to make it look a little bit different. So I pretty much had it ready for rego. So the next shot is the day I took it down to get the blue slip and um, it was pretty cool. Went for a ride down in the mountains and um, yeah, it was nice and slow. Definitely a slow bike, but it looked cool. So on the 3rd of May 2015, I took it down on my uh, trailer to Bondi. That's me in the initial photo shoot. What a star. It turned out to be a pretty wet day, which sort of dulled the numbers a bit, but it was a really good day, as you can see by the bikes. This bike with the surfboard and the sidecar is Damien's entry for 2015. It was pretty cool. So the other day I introduced you to this, the ball sax, or the sax. And that's kind of where I'm going to go with this thing, but um, maybe a little bit different, we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed that, something different, and um, yeah, something I thought that was pretty cool at the time. So love building my bikes, and there'll be more bikes coming along. I've got a few more, I might do some more videos on the bikes I've built, and I've built a lot cooler bikes than the, the post but but um, some of them made it in the magazine. So. But yeah, anyway, stay tuned, be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, stay cool, speak to you later. Cheers. The best compliment I got was from the judges. They asked what it was. They didn't recognise it as a postie. So that's a win for me. Yeah.